let's take a look, though, at Paisley. She has a live report for us this morning. Hey, Peanut, is it snowing? Yeah, this is very wet and pretty cold, Mr. Six. I can tell it's snowing. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, look, I my hand. Thank you, Miss Paisley. That was from yesterday here in Greenville where we had that snow falling. It was absolutely gorgeous view. Uh, she might take my job one day. She's doing a very good job. But for today, the sun has returned to the Delta. We're going to get rid of all of the snow that's left on the ground. So if you're a snow fan, I hate to tell you, it's going to be gone by about lunchtime. We're going to see that gradual warm up throughout the day. Then another chance of rain is going to return early next week. And currently it's still cold out there. Temperatures are right at 30 here in Greenville. And just consider a couple of days ago we were in the 70s. So the beginning of this week was very warm. We've cooled down quite a bit and green Greenwood 32 degrees, so still right at freezing in the rest of the region, typically anywhere from the mid 20s in Arkansas to lower 30s and upper 20s across the northern half of Mississippi and the further south you head. It's around 37 from Meridian all the way over to Vicksburg and lower 30s into northern Louisiana along I-20. Right now the radar looking pretty calm across the region. That sunshine is going to return to the Delta. There were a couple of showers along the coast this morning. Those have since moved off to the east, so the entire state is going to see a drying trend today. High pressure has built back in that is going to continue to control our weather over the next couple of days today. Just plenty of sunshine, a gorgeous day tomorrow. We'll see a couple of clouds starting to move back into the Delta. It's going to stay dry, though, not really expecting anything in the way of rain. Friday afternoon, however, another weak disturbance is going to try to move through. That's going to spark a few showers. Most locations are likely going to stay dry, but don't be surprised if you run into a light shower or two during the day on Friday and then Saturday afternoon. Our next storm system will develop over the southern plains. This will move east and by Sunday night into early Monday, spread some rain and maybe even some thunderstorms across the Delta. No snow this time. Looks like it's going to be all rain in the next couple of days. Well, we have about a 0% chance of rain this weekend, Saturday, but into Sunday and Monday, this is going to be our next big system, big rainmaker for the Delta. And again, some thunderstorms could be possible for your Monday morning commute, but luckily it's going to move out pretty quickly. And by Tuesday, the sunshine will return. But today, temperatures warming up to 47. So like I mentioned earlier, if you enjoyed the snow yesterday, it's going to be gone as we head through the rest of today. It was a nice view, but it's time to return back to Delta normals. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures going to return to the upper 40s with a northeast breeze around 5 to 10 miles per hour. But tonight it's going to be cold again. So if you're heading out as soon as that sun goes down, the temperatures are going to start to plummet back to the lower 30s. And some locations along the I-55 corridor could even reach the upper 20s waking up tomorrow morning. However, it's going to be mostly clear during the night, just light winds and tomorrow warming up nicely into the upper 50s, around 53 degrees. Some locations maybe even a little bit warmer. Clouds will start to increase during the afternoon hours, but not expecting any rain. So it's going to be a pleasant Thursday with the east southeast wind around three to seven miles per hour and taking a look at our temperature trends over the next week or so. It's kind of a cold start today, gradually warming through Saturday and Sunday, reaching the 60s again. And then Monday, we're going to start off in the 60s, but it's going to be similar to yesterday. It started off warm. It's going to plummet during the day as that cold front moves through. And Tuesday is not shown, but it's going to be much colder as well. Seven day forecast looking good the next two days. Friday into Saturday, starting to see that warming trend. Maybe a couple of showers Friday. I anticipate most locations to remain dry, but then Sunday into Monday, our next weather system moves through. That's going to produce some rain and thunderstorms before we see the sunshine return Tuesday 